concrete appears to be an impermeable solid mass. However, upon close examination, we see that concrete is in fact a porous material containing capillary tracts, microcracks, and sometimes macrocracks. This is a magnified view of a capillary tract in concrete. Note that the walls of the capillary are lined with the byproducts of cement hydration and unhydrated cement particles. When concrete is wet, the capillary tracts become saturated with water. Calcium hydroxide and other soluble byproducts of cement hydration dissolve in the capillary water, while unhydrated cement and other non soluble materials remain on the walls. For existing concrete structures, the Zypex crystalline technology is applied as a coating to the concrete surface. When the highly concentrated Zypex coating comes into contact with the capillary water, a chemical differential is created. Driven by this chemical differential, the diffusion of Zypex reactive ingredients into the capillary begins. The catalytic reaction between the Zypex chemicals and the byproducts of cement hydration and unhydrated cement particles starts near the concrete surface, forming insoluble crystals in the capillary tract. Crystalline growth continues to develop and mature as the diffusion front progresses deeper into the concrete. The Zypex crystalline technology can also be applied as an admixture to the concrete at the time of batching. In this case, the Zypex active ingredients are evenly dispersed throughout the cement matrix, with slightly higher concentrations in the capillary water. Whether as a coating or admixture, the capillary cavity will become filled and waterproofed by the Zypex crystalline formation. Zypex active ingredients and some byproducts of cement hydration remain locked in the crystalline formation. In this way, Zypex treated concrete is permanently waterproofed, even against extreme hydrostatic pressure. And Zypex will reactivate whenever water is present.